It has been over a week since the powerful tsunami battered Tonga. Communication with the outside world remains difficult, with limited internet services and some islands still cut off from the phone service. Images from the devastated islands have started to reveal the scale of destruction, with many residents now hoping for heavy tropical rain to wash away the ash which has blanketed large parts of the region. Several nations have come forward to provide aid and assistance to help the Pacific Kingdom get back on its feet. Japanese, New Zealand and Australian Defence Forces have started to deliver supplies to Tonga. Japanese and New Zealand have uh, provided portable water along with the engineering equipment to help with the rebuilding efforts. Yeah, I mean, I think that the initial impression of the ash was a lot worse than I was expecting it to be. So when we landed on the ground, um, there may have been sort of 10 or 15 knots of wind, and that was picking up maybe a 3 to 4 metre dust cloud, um, sorry, ash cloud, and uh, that was sort of drifting over the airfield. Um, and that was just mostly coming from the surrounding areas, I think, where the wind was picking it up. Uh, you could definitely feel it in your eyes, and um, we obviously had that PPE on um, so as to not ingest any of it. However, as aid starts arriving in Tonga, fears of COVID have also risen. The island, which has been COVID-free until now, has decided that supplies and aid will be offloaded and left for quarantine for three days at the airport before it is taken to its destination. Tonga government has also said that all passengers will also have to quarantine for three weeks upon arrival. Tongan government has declared one month of national emergency as it recovers from the destruction unleashed by the eruption which was heard thousands of kilometers away. The eruption was so powerful that space satellites captured not only huge clouds of ash, but also an atmospheric shock wave that radiated out from the volcano at close to the speed of sound. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.